Hey, Liz? Yeah. Oh, nothing. It's, it's none of my business. What? Well, I overheard Shannon and you last week. <sighs> she got pretty upset at you or something. I was just yeah. wondering if you were okay. Oh, yeah. No, I'm fine. Yeah? Yeah, I'm fine. It's none of my business. No, just... no, no, that's okay. I, I, I appreciate you. I mean, goodness. <laughs> God knows everybody heard, so. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm fine. I'll just be a little more careful next time what I say. Hi. Hi. Uh, I was just sitting in the other car and I thought I'd sit up here with you guys. <laughs> so what happened? I've been waiting all weekend. Come on, tell me. Well, it was amazing. Okay, I go to see her play, right? She had a gig. This girl can wail. Wow. You know right? what I'm saying? Yeah. Like her on stage alone, spotlight, uh, her and a guitar. Powerful. Just wailing. Your heart must have just been like, boom, boom, well, boom, boom. I'm not going to lie to you, but I played it cool, you know? Yeah, yeah. Sat back, sipped on a beer, you know? Oh, chill. Perfect, perfect. So we go out for dinner afterwards. Right. Did you order the veal? I couldn't order the veal. We went to this vegetarian place, right? Mm. So I played it cool, mm -hmm. you know? Very gentleman-like, pulling out chairs, opening doors, Perfect. you know what I'm talking Jeez. about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But playing it cool, detached, yeah. you know, playing a little bit hard to get All right. kind of thing. Alright, Romeo, you so you've seen her play, Yeah. right? Then you ate some vegetables, mm -hmm. okay? Boom. Oh, well, yeah. you mean, like, uh, well, I mean, she had to tour, right? She had she had plans or something, she yep. had something to do. Yep. I mean, she, so you didn't, you well, just I had didn't, the dinner? I mean, I didn't, you know. Huh. So you, you had the fish on the line, but you couldn't get it to the boat, is what you're saying. Well, look, I'm not right. gonna, you know. Well, you know, she's not gonna probably, blow it all on one date. Yeah, you know? she's probably playing hard to get too. You know, she's interested. It leaves you wanting a little bit more. Like I was doing. And go. let me tell you, I want more. You Good know. For you. Don't wait too long, buddy. What? That's all I'm saying. Don't wait too long. I'm you not got, gonna wait too long. You right. got lots of time. But I gotta stay the course. There you go. Don't rush it. You know. <laughs> oh, you know, most people think TGIF, huh? Hey, Pete, mm -hmm. thank God it's Friday. Not me. I am TGIM. Thank God it's Monday. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a great day. It was Gary's uh, birthday today. He's in accounting. <gasps> he is a funny guy. Oh, gosh. He loves Star Trek. I mean, I've never met anyone to love Star Trek more than Gary. Well, maybe Randy. <laughs> We got him a cake in the shape of the Enterprise. It was hysterical. Oh, and then he, he did his William Shatner stuff. Oh my God, we were on the floor. Oh, here's a picture of Gary. Look at him. Isn't he look like a funny guy? And he is. I tell you, he is, he's terrific. And that's Everett, my boss. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, we played this game. It was so fun. Um, it was like, a, how do you get your soap opera name? So what you do, you take your middle name, right? And then the street you live on. So mine is yes. Louise Greenlake. I live on Green Lake. Louise is my middle name. See, Louise, Great. doesn't that sound, I sound like I would be some sort of jewelry person or something. Mm -hmm. What's yours? What would yours be, Pete? Reinhardt Sunrise Crescent. Oh, see, that's good. He would be like an industrialist, huh? Mm-hmm, yeah. He'd be like, um, you know, the kind of guy who 
had to work. Oh. <laughs> I was an idiot. An inconsiderate, insensitive, blabbermouth of an idiot, and I'm sorry, and I know you have no reason in the world to ever speak to me again, but I brought a peace offering. It's chocolate. It's left over from the party. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah. Um, so how, um, how was the party? Um, Nicole? The salmon things you made with the cream cheese, they were really good. They oh my gosh. The really party, <clears throat> you know, I, I, I tried to hide my mom in the bedroom and stick her in front of the TV and but she got bored and so she came out to socialize and help but she did help me she saved me from Lucas <laughs> all night he drank way too much to all save night. you from Lucas yeah he's coming out oh. I kept feeling this thing behind his and hearing this thing and I kept turning around he's sniffing my hair sniffing her cuz I had my hair down and I <laughs> whatever I don't know he was fascinated with my hair but she's right, my mom totally came to her rescue because someone decided to give my mother a glass of wine to calm her down because she was all sort of, you know, off balance and spilling things and... Girl, she went right after Lucas. <laughs> oh yes. I think she mentioned something about the stubble on his face and how she likes that in a man. Oh no. I was so <sighs> embarrassed. I think she pinched his butt too. Oh my god. <laughs> Needless to say, he left soon after that. Oh. Hey, this uh... This cake is really good. Yeah? Do you like it? Yeah. We got Gary the best gift. We all chipped in for a hockey jersey. He mm. is, oh, he's a hockey fanatic. Go Leafs, um, go. Oh, yeah, exactly. It was it was a Leaf jersey. It was mm -hmm. uh, Dougie Gilmore, no, number 93. Right. He was, his face, well, he was so surprised. And I tell you, Did those things Did you watch the Stanley are, Cup playoffs? Oh, yeah, 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 we've been watching Game them. Game six? Yeah, I, yeah, was that the last one? Yeah. Yeah. Did oh, you see Doug Paul Korea boys. get hit? Oh, no, I don't. Center like, ice? No, no. Bam! Right down on the ice. No, I don't Out like cold. watching. didn't move. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I can't. I, hey, I can't on? do this anymore. No more work. I can't. I didn't sleep at all this weekend, Aww. like not at all. Just staring at the ceiling, ceiling, counting the tiles. <laughs> Insomnia. Oh, I just can't, I can't concentrate. I didn't get any work done today. I'm just, uh, why, what's going on? Oh, I'm like, you know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, the turkey baster. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I've got to choose a donor by, by tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, so I've got all these bios and <laughs> photos and occupy like all the stuff going through my head and it's this it's huge. It's a huge decision. I don't I don't even know where to start. I think I think I've narrowed it down to four. I had it narrowed down to one and then up at night. No, it's wrong, it's wrong. That's second not guessing. Be, yeah, second guessing everything. Well, so maybe it's a bit bold of me, but do you have them with you? What the the photos? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Show and tell, yeah. maybe? Maybe we can... You want to see yeah, it? Yeah, I do. Is that kind of weird? I don't know. Is it weird for you? I don't know. I guess not. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind getting a little bit of advice. Yeah. I'm, I'm, my brain just can't, wow, focus anymore. What do you think about me with blue hair? Blue hair? Why would you do that? Blue is the color of a car, not of a hairdo, yeah, what? Lots of people have blue hair. Ah, uh, you're peacocking. You're peacocking you for Dana, oh. eh, buds? I'm not That's what it is. Sure you are. Right. Right. Sure you are. She didn't, she didn't out and out ask me to right. dye my hair, but yes, she made a comment about yeah. the fact that it shows personal strength, <laughs> independence. If it know? makes her happy, and if you don't like it, you can always change it, I right? can always cut it. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot easier than having to lose some weight like yours truly over here. What? Yeah, I'm on the fat man diet. Is Agnes oh. getting to you? Yeah, a little Randy, bit. Randy, you're know? beautiful. You've got a beautiful physique. You're built like a bear. Oh, thank you. Don't let these sure. ladies sniff out your fear, eh? Once they realize that you're going to change whenever they snap their fingers, you're dead meat. Women are the ficklest of all creatures, eh? Like, uh, Charity's like, 
Oh, John, you remember before you had hair on your chest when you're nice and smooth chested? <laughs> well, like, remember before you had a mustache? You know, it goes both ways. Yeah, women go, get that. Yeah. Right? That's My a, mom's got that. A little bit right there. It's natural. Uh, right? You know, that's good advice and all, but, you know, I, I think about it and I figure, I look at myself and I go, well, I could stand to lose a couple of pounds, and I'm tired of having man boobs anyways, you know? Just, Ooh, those are nice. Hey, hey, <laughs> eyes up here. My eyes are here. If I had those, I wouldn't leave the house. <laughs> I hope he's not one of your picks. No, well then also the health history, I mean the heart attack. Okay, so uh, who who have you narrowed it down to? Okay, so <laughs> four, right? Put them in the front. Yeah, this first guy, the baseball player, right? Okay, yeah. Good yeah. looking. Yeah. 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 Like travels. Yeah. Um, the business executive, really mm -hmm. successful guy. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I, I don't know. There was some, a university professor, this guy. Yeah. High IQ, very smart. But you know, really he's got that eye thing, the crooked eye. <laughs> but he's yeah. smart. He could be cute. But he's, he's smart. Good okay. And <laughs> contestant number four would be? I don't know. The, I don't he's know about this guy. He just had a really good feel about him. Yeah. He's a phone technician. I, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm, uh, now I'm getting all confused again. Oh. I'm, just, I'm trying to go, I guess, on gut. This is why I'm staring at the ceiling all night. I, mean, I just, I don't, I don't know if I have good judgment for this kind of thing. I mean, God knows. I'm men and my two husbands. I don't know. I mean, what all do you, what you do, do is follow your instinct, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I mean, you're shopping, shopping like for men. You're <laughs> shopping for men. I know, but it's so, like, it's on the page. It's absurd. I mean, what do you guys it's great. look for in men? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, you know, you know Darnell's a chef, right? Uh, so yeah. So he's very creative and he's passionate and works well with his hands, you know, and <laughs> knows all about seasoning and marinating mm. and tenderizing. Yeah. <laughs> Tender. <laughs> See, I can't get that off the page. <laughs> no, that no, you can't. I guess not. Fill out a questionnaire about. What about you? Well, oh, Max is just a sweetheart. I just love. You know. You know what gets me is those days where you're kind of sad and you. You see each other, and he just knows exactly what to do. He just takes me in his arms, and he'll just hold me, and he kisses me on the forehead, and he'll bring. He's tall, and he brings himself down, and he'll give me a kiss, and he just looks at me, and he knows. He knows exactly what kind of day it's been, and it's like, yeah. Oh, it's a picture of my mug. It's the one that keeps going missing. I thought, this time, I'm going to have proof of my mug, so next time it goes missing. Everett still claims that he didn't take it. I don't know how it got on his desk. Do you have pets? But Oh yeah, yeah, Caitlin's got a hamster and the boys have two turtles, Bleep and Radar. I mean, I end up taking care of them more than anybody. How are the kids feeling? So, they doing okay? Yeah, well, Luke's got the sniffles this week, but really? he's fine, yeah. Have you had them tested for monkeypox? What? Monkeypox. What are you talking about, Pete? It's a new infectious disease, okay? It's uh, a bunch of, I saw it on CNN this morning, a bunch of people have um, this disease that they've got from their pet prairie dogs. What? Yeah. Where? What is this, in remote Africa? No, it's... Did you ever read the newspaper, Brenda? Yes, I do, Pete, but I don't... What does that say? Rare African monkey pox break out in U.S. Midwest. U.S. Midwest. Here, we better have them. God, when are the locusts coming? Good Lord. You don't need to lose any weight, Randy. All right, you're beautiful the way you are, and there's nothing sadder than a man on a diet. Right? Thank you. Hey, but if you do want to lose 20 pounds of ugly fat, chop off your head. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm totally kidding. I'm Randy, kidding. If you want to lose a little weight, my dad advises people on how to lose weight all the time. Oh, what is your dad a doctor all of a sudden? Yeah. Oh. Look, two most important things, moderation, mm -hmm. everything in moderation, okay? Moderation. Don't cut, don't stress yourself out cutting out things you like to eat. Moderation. moderation. Live hard, die young, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Well. Second thing, exercise before you eat, okay? In the morning, get up, don't run, go for a 15, 20 minute walk, have exercise. a wholesome breakfast, I guarantee you'll feel great. Can you be one of those gerbils in a, in a treadmill? At the gym, you know? Well, What's no, that? I mean, I, ridiculous. I hate going to gyms. I mean, first of yeah. all, it's, it's it's intimidating. And, you know, second of all, I'm just, well, I'm lazy. I mean, if, if losing weight was so easy, I'd, I'd have done it a long time ago, right? But, hey, go for a walk down to Burger King, you know? You're not helping. I'm not trying to. You're fat and you're beautiful. You're fat and proud, all right? Be proud. 
the little baby jumpsuits with the little feet in oh. them. And the sleep suits. The little sleep suits. I want one of those. With the feet. With the feet. With the feet. Oh, they're so cute. They the little smell baby good. poo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it can be cute. It can be cute. Oh, it can be cute. Oh. I don't know, Liz. Aren't, aren't you going to miss it, though? Miss what? You know, the whole, the love. The love aspect of like a parenting. parenting. Yeah, just someone to share it with, you know? Well, I mean, there's gonna be obviously a lot of, a lot of love. Yeah, you oh, know? that's for sure. It's, mm -hmm. just, it's just a little different. I'm, I'm choosing to skip that step. I tried it twice before already and I don't know. I just, I can't, I can't put myself through it again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just, I can't do it. It's, all, it's almost that side of me is just, shut off right now and I'm just gonna focus all that that kind of attention on this child but you never know you know you might you have this beautiful baby and 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 you might meet someone and it, it might work out yeah who knows yeah maybe it will Oh, here's a Three Musketeers once again. Leanne, Mr. Vushnik, the coffee service man. Who's the gay and, guy? Oh, Lance? He's not gay. He, he works in human resources. Okay, the, the, the short hair, the yeah. mustache, the earring, the tight shirt, they don't, those don't give it away for him? No. No, Lance is... Uh, have you met his wife? Oh, he's not married. No, he has a really nice roommate, Armand. Do you have a problem with gay people, Brenda? No. Well, I mean, I don't condone it, but... You ever been down to gay pride? <laughs> Taking the family down there? I don't think so, Pete. Are you kidding? After we went to Disneyland and they had the, their gay day... What? I, they have a gay day where they're all wearing red shirts to all go, hey, let's unite. I mean, I'm with Elsie McWayne on this one, I'll tell you. I mean, why do they have to brag about it? Do you think Mickey Mouse likes that? Hey, you know what? There's probably gay people on this train right now, okay? They're oh, in society, they're Pete, everywhere. There is not. Who? Psst, psst, psst. Hmm? So what's your next move with uh, with Dana there, Tiger? You gonna pull the trigger or what? We're gonna stay the course. Play it cool. It's worked up till now. No, Smart. no, 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 no. You're in the slot right now, but with a good shot on that, shoot. No, shoot no. Shoot now. Take your time. Pick the top corner. Score a goal. No, yeah. no, no. My wife Charity and I, right? Yeah. When I asked her out back in the day, there was some other dude named Phil something or other. Some real, uh, some drama club, good looking kind of, kind of freak, you know? Yeah. Some real ne'er do well. He liked her too, eh? So I get in there. I ask her out first, right? Yeah. She says yes. Boom, everything's great. Next day, he asks her out. She has to say, no, I'm going out with Johnny McLaughlin now. Yeah. He, he knew he had to back off, otherwise he'd get the old McLaughlin hammer first. You know what I mean? I, he's some big uh, some big Hollywood producer type down in L.A. now, eh? Some, uh, some big rich guy. But he's not married to charity, is he? Boom. Boom. So did you hear from your sister? Simone? Yeah. Please. I still have not heard from that girl. Let me tell you, I am so aggravated with this whole situation. You know, my mama is still at my house. I have to call in every five minutes. As soon as I take her back, I swear I'm going to change the locks to okay. my doors. So. I don't know, guys. I, how? I'm sorry. I, I, I give up. Like, I just don't, I don't even know how to choose this anymore. This guy's a... Coin collector, this guy's outdoorsy. I mean, what, I, coin choose the, collector. I choose the sperm and my baby's gonna be a coin collector? I no, mean, I hope not. Is that, I mean, is that how this works? I don't, I don't know, if you ask me, I say we are all a product of our environment. Yeah. No? However I grow, grew up and came to be, it's due to my environment. How I was nurtured it has nothing to do with the fact that my daddy used to collect whatever, you know, cards or whatever when he was young, right? right? Yeah. So if I, I mean, this guy's got wavy hair. But there's like some, some health issues, so I want to get rid of that. Get rid right? of the health issues. Knock out anything that, you know, any kind of diseases or horrible traits that you don't want. And all you can do is trust your instincts. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be this kid's mom, and you're going to raise this baby as your own, and you're going to deliver the kind of things that you're going to deliver as a mom. She's right. Be a good mom. Look at the eye color. Look okay. at, that's about it. Blood type, eye color. Okay. That's all you need to know. 
Okay, right. back to number one. <laughs> oh, that's Bob. He's a customer service. Rep. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I? Oh, I, I got some. Nah, don't worry about it. it. I've got doubles. Oh, 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 here. Um, oh, um, Brenda. Uh, Brenda, please. Oh, there. No, I'm... I don't think you saw that one. Yeah. Wow. Who's that? That's Rini. She's a new uh, clerical assistant I hired. Oh my gosh, she is so bubbly. Is she She's... single? Why is Reinhardt interested? Pete. <laughs> I know. I, I don't know. I, if you want me to find out. Please. All right, I will. Can I hang on to that? Uh, yeah, I've got doubles. All right, Zach, what are you doing for your second date with Dana Butts? Well, I was no, thinking No, you know about... what you do? You know what you do? Now's the time to find out, right, if she's a woman for you, right? Blow a couple of farts in front of her, right? Be like, but make it funny though. Be like, pull my finger. <laughs> if she if she reacts weird, you know she's not the woman for you, eh? But if she <laughs> laughs and stuff, then you know what's on, right? No, 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 no. That's kind of you funny, yeah, but testing comfort that's, levels. That's, I get it. That's, that's, a, yeah. that's a fourth date thing, though, man. I mean, you don't want to okay. go too far, too fast. You probably right? never fart in front hey, of your wife. Well, no, not yet. But we're getting married, and as soon as we do, I'm gonna let it go. Yeah, but right still, you don't want to scare her off with that. Okay. You know, take her someplace a little bit more intimate. Than last time, you know, but not as far yeah, as. Yeah, take her somewhere intimate and then blow a fart and then see <laughs> how she reacts. Yeah. Look, th this is great, guys. I'll ask her tomorrow. <laughs> Boom. Boom. I'm not Phil the Drama Geek. <laughs> I don't even think it matters what we do. Good for you. But if you do fart, act like it's an accident. Oh, yeah, I'll cough. Yeah. Okay, number 03857, this is my pick. He's strong, you get a strong sperm sample out of him. Mm, right? He's the one with the, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah he's business the man. No, no, business no, no, no. man. No, no, no. no, this is my guy, he's the professor. Mm -hmm. Very he's smart. He's intelligent, look, he doesn't wear any contact lenses, his vision is excellent. Vision? Mm -hmm. This is the guy with the crooked eye. <laughs> Oh, it it okay, that settles it. <laughs> okay, tomorrow I'm putting my order in. I gotta do oh. it tomorrow. Smart, mm -hmm. athletic, and cute. very good looking. He is cute. That's it. The baseball player. Because you know what? At the end of the day, the last thing you want is it's an ugly, ugly baby. baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, cute. He is, he is cute. cute. Class seat, I'm staring as the mouth.